Mtazamaji nilikwambia kwamba haitakuwa rahisi kwa naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa kuweza kuondolewa kwa ofisi eti kwa sababu wa bunge ama senators hawamtaki ama wameambiwa kwamba wa Mwimbich wakadhani kwamba pengine ukifika upande wa koti watafanya vile senators walifanya ama MPs walifanya itakuwa ni maneno tofauti mzamaji wangu na bila shaka Rigathi Gashagwa zoea kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa ataweza kuwa deputy president wako mpaka mwaka wa 2027 kwa hivyo kwa wale ambao walikuwa wanasema kwamba Profesa Kiture Kindiki congratulations wale ambao walikuwa wanampongeza Profesa Kiture Kindiki uh, wajua kwamba mtazamaji wangu hakuna vile Rigathi Gashagwa anaweza uh, kutolewa kwa ofisi usiku alafu baya asubuhi uh, bwana Kithure Kidiki tayari amekuwa appointed na baye mchana tayari wabunge wamempitisha Profesa Kithure Kidiki. Hii inaonesha wazi kwamba kuna mambo ambayo walikuwa wanataka kuya chief. Kwa hivyo pia uh, inaonesha wazi kwamba impeachment ya Rigathi Kashagwa haikuwa ni impeachment kwa sababu eti uh, ni wabunge ambao wanapenda wana Kenya so wakaamua kumtoa Rigathi Kashagwa kwa sababu Kashagwa alikuwa anafanya makosa ambayo uh, bila shaka ingeweza kuharibu nchi ya Kenya. Hakuna mambo kama hayo ni kwa sababu tu Uh, kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa ampendi Kashagwa na alikuwa anataka kumtoa Kashagwa na amweke mtu mwingine ambaye wanasikia wakiwa comfortable na yeye kwa sababu nilikwambia kwamba kama tukianza kufuatilia kwamba wabunge ambao uh, ama viongozi ambao wamenunua hoteli, wamenunua nyumba, wamenunua nini, waende nyumbani basi hawa viongozi wote wataenda nyumbani. Hakuna kiongozi hata mmoja atabagi kwa sababu wote wako vile tu walikuwa wanasema Kashagwa amefanya wengi wamefanya zaidi ya Rigathi Kashagwa. Na kuomba utazame hii video ndio ujue ni nini naongelea kuhusu nini. Ndio ujue kwamba Rigathi Kashagwa hakuna mahali anaenda. Tuko na yeye mpaka 2027. Because of action number one, <laughs> assuming that the Senate followed the law. <laughs> then the office of deputy president is vacant. <laughs> Gashagwa stands impeached and is out of office. <laughs> He is now pursuing that process in court. <laughs> the second issue is the nomination of Kithure Kindiki. Mm -hmm. It's illegal. Why? Kithure Kindiki was nominated by William Ruto to be deputy president. Mm -hmm. The qualifications for a deputy president are set out in Article 137 mm -hmm. of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And part of that is the question of eligibility. For you to be nominated you must be eligible. Mm -hmm. You must hold the minimum qualifications to be appointed. Mm -hmm. And one of the agencies to ascertain that the person is eligible, mm -hmm. qualifies, is IEBC. And William Ruto, in forwarding the name mm -hmm. of Kindiki, went to IEBC mm -hmm. and got a clearance from IEBC mm -hmm. indicating mm -hmm. that Kinuture Kindiki qualifies. Mm -hmm. It begs the question, which IEBC gave Kinuture Kindiki mm -hmm. the green light to be nominated? There is no chairman, there are no commissioners of IBC. Mm -hmm. So IBC as presently constituted mm -hmm. does not have the legal mandate mm -hmm. to nominate or to approve mm -hmm. anybody for nomination as a deputy president. Mm -hmm. When the Gen Zs who wanted to recall their members of parliament mm -hmm. wrote to IBC to approve the collection of signatures mm -hmm. in a letter dated 9th of September 2024. Mm -hmm. Marjan, the CEO of IBC, wrote to them and said, we don't have a chairperson mm -hmm. and commissioners. And to that end, we cannot approve the collection of any signatures mm -hmm. until such a time that the chairperson and the commissioners are in office. Mm -hmm. The chairperson and commissioners are not in office. The returning officer of presidential elections is normally the chairperson. Mm -hmm. He is not in office. Marjan cannot clear a name to be appointed as deputy president. So Kithure Kindiki is illegally nominated. Mm -hmm. He cannot assume office because IABC is not there. Then you go even further to the qualifications. Mm -hmm. In Article 137, a state officer mm -hmm. who is serving does not qualify to be nominated. Mm -hmm. State or public officer. Kithure Kindiki is a CS. He is a state officer. He cannot be nominated. The only person who is exempt of that provision is the president, member of parliament, and the deputy president mm -hmm. serving. Kithure Kindiki was a state officer, he is not exempt. Mm -hmm. He should have resigned from that office before he is nominated. Mm -hmm. He did not. So his nomination is illegal. Mm -hmm. So where we are today, assuming Gashagwa's impeachment was 
lawful. And there are no orders. Mm -hmm. The nomination of Keture Kindiki cannot proceed. Mm. So we have a vacancy in the office of deputy president. Assuming you argue that Gashagwa was lawfully removed, mm -hmm. Keture Kindiki cannot assume that office. Mm -hmm. He does not meet the minimum qualifications to be a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Mm -hmm. That is a stillbirth. And for until such a time that we will have an IBC in place, nobody is going to fill that office. William Ruto's sins have caught up with him. His failure, his delinquency in failing to constitute IBC has caught up with him. So mdozamaji kama umesikiza hiyo video basi uh, bila shaka Rigathi Kashagwa utajua kwamba tuko na Rigathi Kashagwa baka 2027 na basi kudanganya mtu kwamba eti Rigathi Kashagwa atatoka kwa ofisi hivi karibuni. Kwa sababu gani nasema hivyo mdozamaji wangu? Kwanza vile walifanya hiyo uh, vile waliharakisha wali hiyo process ya kumtoa Rigathi Kashagwa kwa ofisi <laughs> kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo walifanya mistake kwanza professor kiture kidiki mpaka leo hajawahi ku resign bado tunamjua kama yeye ni indiri ya cabinet secretary hakuna mtu anamjua professor kiture kidiki kama deputy president uh, okay professor kiture kidiki nilikuwa nimekuambia juzi uh, hakuwa memba wa chama cha uh, UDA uh, professor kiture kidiki hakuwa ame resign professor kiture kidiki hmm. yani mambo yote vile waliifanya walifanya makosa Hatuna IBC ya kuweza kumverify Kithure Kindiki so atujui nani alimuverify akasema kwamba ana fit anakusaa kuingua a deputy president. Kwa hivyo mtazamaji wangu msichukulie mambo la, la rais rais tu kwamba koti itaenda impitishe Kashagwa aende nyumbani. Hapana. Na hiyo inamaanisha kwamba hata ikipitisha Kashagwa aende nyumbani itakuwa inamaanisha kwamba Kashagwa bado anaweza akaresign. Kwa sababu pia nimelipata habari kwamba kama watafanikiwa kumwimbichi Kashagwa mpaka kwa parliament uh, uh, koti Kashagwa ata resign alafu aamue uh, sasa kupigana na William Samoe Ruto uh, wanasamanga omundu kumundu hmm. wa kupigana na nilikwambia kwamba Kashagwa tu ndio mtu ambaye anaweza aka uh, tusaidia kumtoa William Ruto kwa ofisi kwa sababu Rigathi Kashagwa mtazamaji wangu amekuwa na William Ruto wamekuwa pamoja kwa muda mrefu anamjua zaidi anajua siri zake William Ruto na hivyo hivyo ndio anaweza kumtoa. Vile uliona William Ruto alimtoa Uhuru Kenyatta, Kashagwa pia yeye ndio anaweza kumtoa William Samoei Ruto. Kashagwa tu ndio anaweza kutusaidia akiungana na kina Kalonzo Musyoka, kina Joji Natembea, akina Babu Owino, akina Fred Matiangi, hiyo team ita, itaweza kumtoa William Ruto kwa ofisi asubuhi na mapema sana. In fact asubuhi na mapema sana watakuwa wamefanikiwa kumtoa William Ruto kwa ofisi. Lakini uh, Mojeni tuone vile mambo yatakavyokuwa leo saa tisa ndio hawabunge um, ndio koti itakuwa inatoa uamuzi wale three judge bench ndio watakuwa wanamtoa uamuzi kama Kashagwa ataenda nyumbani kweli ama Kashagwa atasalia kwa ofisi kwa hivyo tungojea tuone vile mambo yatakavyokuwa cha msingi na kuomba uendelee kusubscribe hapa Ajitani Media Kenya ili usiwe unapitwa na habari kama hizi ambazo tunaendelea kuzitengeneza kwa ajili yako mimi najulikana kama Ajitani hii Ajitani Media Kenya usiene mbali nitarejea na mengi zaidi